though looks rough there's pretty good coverage seed coverage here in the slightly drier bit of the field we could just cover the slot up with the culti press the problem is on the other side we're struggling where there's more mustard so we're just going to try and get our front press out see if that makes a difference so one of the issues we have is long fibrous stalks of uh, mustard normally we would have planned to have drilled this with the sky and therefore cut straight through with a disc coulter it's far from ideal using a, um, a leg but it's keeping going uh, this is the transition between the lighter land and the heavy stuff we're getting progressively heavier now and uh, probably we need to stop drilling on the using a clay and revert to the sky at this point but it's still very wet bit of a difficult decision when to change so this is our richard western sea trailer a bit of mouse damage there but um, we use this just for the clay and it's not tall enough for the sky drill just, and it helps us sort of leapfrog in front if we have to. It goes without saying that I would love to have a Claydon drill with the discs mounted on it where we wouldn't have to use the front press discs and get them and the problems associated with getting them to match up with our tines but uh, budgets don't allow so that's where we are at the moment here you can see the unmoved ground between each leg of the Claydon and although there's quite a lot of ground movement this bit between the legs hasn't moved and as we dig around to have a look at the seed depth, you can see at about one and a half inches, we're doing all right. But it's noticeable that the soil still balls up and is still probably too wet. 